And now we're going to get into the pop and push methods. So first of all, we're going to look at the pop method here. In the pop method, we set up our array, four team names, and then just to check as we're going, we write all of the elements of the array so we can just verify that they're all there and if they've changed, what has changed. Because here on the second right line, we're going to say pop that last element. So that theoretically is going to take off the Eagles team. Then we write all of the elements again. This will change because we've popped one off. Then we repeat the process. We run the, the pop method again. And then we write all of the teams on their own line to, to end it. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, here you can see, to begin with, we had our four teams, Lions, Tigers, Bears, and Eagles. Then we ran the pop statement. And it identifies which element it's going to pop off. And that is Eagles, because it's at the end. And then we list the whole array again. And now there's not four. Now there's just three. Then we pop the last one. Now, because Bears is at the end, it pops Bears off of the array. And now we just have a two-element array to end with just the Lions and Tigers. All right, now we're going to look at the push method. Now, the push method starts out the same way. We have a four-element array. And then we're going to push a value onto the end of that array. And so in the first statement, we say push Wildcats. And then we're going to write all of those team names just to verify that it's been added to the array. Then on this next push line, we're going to add two. So you can add and you can push more than one value onto the end of array, an array if you want. So this time we're going to push two, Bulldogs and Cougars, and then write all of the teams on the last line as well. All right, when we look at this, notice how we start out with all four that we begin with. Then we do the push statement. It lists that now we're going to move it up to five. And then the last one that we added gets pushed on there, Wildcat. So now there's five elements in the array. And then we push two on there. Now the array is seven elements long. And now we've got all seven listed in our last statement.